Hey guys, today I wanna to share with you the inside of the Good and the Beautiful Science Unit Water and Our World. Hey guys, it's Vani from Mrs. Mom's Homeschool and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I post videos on homeschool curriculums, homeschooling day in the life, motherhood, and everything to get you on your homeschooling journey. So today I wanna to show you the inside of the Good and the Beautiful Science Unit Water in Our World. I am continuing on with the series of showing you guys a bunch of different curriculums and different units and things that we have to help you decide what you may wanna use for this upcoming school year. So make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that every time I do post a new video, you guys get notified right away. Let's get into it. So here's the cover to water in and our world. But I store my science units in a binder and this specific binder has three units in it. So I slide that right in there and I'm gonna show this one to you. Okay, so first thing you have is your vocabulary. I like to put them inside sliders and pull them out for each lesson. So then I cut this out and I've set up my science wall ahead of time. In the beginning of this video, you saw our science wall for the mammals unit. I will take that down and I will put up the new vocabulary and pictures that are in this book. I put them up, whatever fits onto my science wall. I also put my mini books up there and I take them down when it's time to read them. So in this unit, you're going to learn, well, your children and you are going to learn all about water, states of water, evaporation, condensation, and precipitation, the water cycle, bodies of water, water shapes the earth, how water shapes the earth, oceans, currents, and tides, icebergs and glaciers, groundwater, water power, and clean water. So with each lesson, they're gonna have things to put inside their science journal. There's always lots of experiments, experiments in the Good and the Beautiful Science. And there's, it's designed for grades K through six, but if you're teaching older children, grades seven through 12, there are ideas for them. And in some of the other units, they have added pages that um, are just for the older kids to research. So here in the overall view is all your lessons and what the supplies you're gonna need for each lesson so you can prepare that ahead of time. And when I see a lot of materials, I know that this is lab intensive, so I like that. It gives you a list of optional read alouds for each lesson. You wanna make sure you get these books ahead of time from your library or Amazon. And with each unit, you have an objective, preparation, supplies needed, and it tells you you can read your Read out loud if you want to. Tells you what to read to the child and what to put inside their science journals. If there's an experiment, there's pictures and detailed instructions on how to follow them. And then you have your lab worksheets as well that go along with it. There's sometimes there's games too this that the kids really enjoy doing. And if you look inside here, so this is just an example of some of the colorful pictures, some water sort cards for different activities that the kids are gonna be doing. Everything is, is here. Okay, and then if you have, if you have a mini book, you just cut along the dotted line and you just staple them all together, all the pages together. Okay, so that's what it looks like. There's pictures of the different projects they're gonna be doing. It's another mini book. Another lab picture. All right, and that's it. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell because I'm gonna continue this series of posting our different curriculums that we have and giving you an inside look to everything so that you guys can decide what you wanna use for the next coming homeschool years. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.